Welcome to Homestead is Freedom. Today I'm talking about rain barrels. Uh, now I have a total of five. I had two last year. We built our, our first two rain barrels. We were really satisfied with them. I will be doing a video probably in three weeks where I'm going to get my hands on another barrel and I'll show y'all how to make one from start to finish. But what I'd like to do is just talk about the benefits of some of these things. One of the benefits is that it, the rainwater is free from added chemicals such as chlorine, fluoride. It's not really beneficial for your plants, so the plants tend to really like the rainwater a lot better. It conserves water. It reduces the uh, runoff that the city has to worry about maintaining. It's convenient. You save money. And you get a little bit of self-satisfaction knowing, that, hey, you know, you built something that you can use. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. <clears throat> what you'll need is a 55 gallon barrel, food grade. These barrels that I have were used to uh, ship olives, pickles, jalapenos. You also need one half inch non-kink male bib. You'll need one hose gasket. You'll need one half inch conduit lock nut. One eight inch round drain grate. One seven inch round worm gear clamp. And you're gonna need some waterproofing glue, marine glue. And that's gonna be used down here for the spigots. When you see that glue that's down there, that's going to go around and help provide a seal. <clears throat> now the nylon screens you're using at the top, after you cut a hole in it, you're going to get this grate. And then you're going to get the nylon screen and put it over it. Nylon is a little bit better than a regular screen, like the nylon mesh, because it's a little bit more forgiving and it, it'll bend easier and it'll, it'll go over the, uh, the grate a little better. <clears throat> this is what it looks like on the underneath. You got the nylon mesh, you got your clamp, and you have your grate. This is beneficial because it prevents mosquitoes from getting inside and having a, a breeding ground for mosquitoes is, is not something that you want in, in standing water. You're also going to want to make sure that when it does rain you come out and you make sure that the tops of the, of the lids don't, don't maintain a standing water either because they, they can. I don't think you can see down there. I'll try to get a view if I can. There's a metal gasket. I think you can see it right there. I'll try to zoom in. That's what you're putting on the back side to secure it. <clears throat> and this barrel definitely had olives in it. One of the things I noticed last year when I was using the rain barrels outside as I was concerned that because the rain barrels were sitting out in direct sunlight all day it was 90 some degrees out I didn't want to really use the water because I figured the water was going to be warm and I didn't want it to you know damage the plants or anything like that but I decided to turn the spigot on and just see what the water temperature was and, and it was cold it was still cold so this is some really good heavy duty plastic I was able to get all, all this for about $55 and I get the barrels from our local cooperative extension and they get the barrels out of uh, Norfolk, uh, Norfolk, Virginia. It's a, it's a place called a HB Hunter and that's where they get the barrels from. And that's, that's who I'm going to be getting my barrel from uh, next week or in, within a couple of weeks and I'll, I'll do a video on it. But I just wanted to give you all a little, little video on rain barrels. And uh, stay tuned. Pretty soon I'll have the video up of building one. And you can, you can uh, get all the parts and uh, build your own. Thank you for visiting.